welcome to East Coast Gaming, number 70,000. There's a lot of them, I don't know. You introduce how yourself. I'm Payne. I'm Buzzo. <laughs> I'm the third or fourth best Mega Man in this Oh, <laughs> And you're the best the These are uh, marginally better players than both of us. That's why you're watching them instead. That's why we're watching Kodomo get this early momentum. And those are some, some, those are some pretty sick tech chases. How do you think this matchup goes? Uh, because this I'm matchup probably, I mean, it's probably bad for Toon Link. It's, it's probably bad for Toon Link, like, like, in a vacuum, but, like, you know, everybody's human, you know? Mm -hmm. It's it's very possible to get zoned as, you know, well, we're not really seeing any zoning right now, we're kind of just watching this this small... Yeah, uh, they're both going at it. Yeah, this small child throwing hands on and off the sticks, but, you know, both, both, uh, both Kodomos right now are small children. That's true. I feel like Fox definitely outbuttons Toon Link. Yeah, Fox. Just because he's ridiculously Fox, fast. Fox wins the frame data battle. Yeah, uh, easily. Toon Link might win the. I've never seen Toon Link win this game. I'm not going to pretend to know anything. But Toon Link does, in fact, have a sword, and that leads me to believe that he wins the range game. Mm -hmm. A sword yeah, in, in He definitely does. Kodomo thinks Toon Link is the best of the three. That's pretty silly. But, you know, he's on stage and we're not. <laughs> His opinions are a bit more value. Um, I don't. Know. I don't even know if I agree with him or not. Because like I think about it, and I'm like, oh, that's crazy. And then I see him play. You know. Oh, look at that! That that fox standard. The, the, the what's it called? The um, empty the tomahawk grab at, at seven billion percent. That that two frames. I don't think that's two frames. I think I think he just hit him. You think, him think he the ledge. missed the ledge? I think he missed the ledge. Yeah, I think so. Zen's not again. Missed the ledge. <laughs> Friends and family at home. He missed the ledge. Finally, he actually gets one of those. Like, he's been. He keeps trying to up be out of shield when it's not like within range or when Fox is too like when Fox is too fast to actually get hit by it, and it's been getting him punished really often. My brain says that the up is gonna send uh, Fox up every time. Isn't that a isn't that a kill move on Tuli? It's a kill move. It's very good. Yeah. It's like, I feel like that um, is a good way to exemplify like why Kodomo might think that Toon Link is the best of the three of them. I feel like he's kind of the best of both worlds. With he has a lot of good qualities that Young Link has, as well as the ones that Link has. Um, Young Link's whole issue is even though he's a good zoner because he's, he's fast, he has really good projectiles, etc. Uh, um, he like he, he has Young Link has all of that, but he also struggles to kill, and then. Normal Link is a bit of the, op the opposite. He's obviously significantly slower, but he kills. Um, he he's the best at killing out of the three. But then Toon Link seems like this perfect median between the two, where he's like the best of both worlds. And I feel like that that is a big reason that Kodomo feels like Toon Link's the best of the three. You also got to consider the magnetic sword. Uh, yeah. Zerak flying into that up B at the very last second. Uh, it pulls you in just like Mega Man's a power of suggestion. <laughs> It's a, it's a, it's a secret, Lures you a in. secret uh, Wind Waker song <laughs> that Kodomo's clearly mastered. Uh, sealing out the, <laughs> sealing out the first game with Jedi mind tricks. You know what? If, if Kodomo wins this, if Kodomo wins like the tournament today, I'm buying him just a little metal stick, a little metal wand. You know? He, he needs his own Wind Waker. These players, these people play in the No, right? Kodomo used to play Fox, so I feel like he, yeah, Lucina. yeah, Lucina as well. That's when I first saw him play. With Lucina. Um, I don't think Zerak plays anyone other than Fox. Though. Yeah, I've seen. I've he, seen Zerak plays Wolf since when? I've seen. I've seen uh, Zippy Falco. So he just plays all the speeds. I've also seen the Zippy Bowser. But that was a game ago. He's on all the speeds. Like a, like a Switch. Uh, a much better start to this uh, game two. The counter pick. This is this, you know this this is historically the the zone stage, but Fox you know historically. Uh, Fox also known to like uh, Kalos just to have the space. Same reason he likes to play really empty town. 
all the big stages, Fox Lopes. I, I feel like another nice thing is the lack of platforms being in the center, letting the go little, makes it a lot easier for um, for for Zerac to like approach with aerials right. because. A lot of what Kodomo can do, and a lot of other zoners can do, they just hide under the platform and throw out their stuff. So like, their projectiles are doing everything for them. Especially a character like, especially a character like Toon Link, who can angle stuff like boomerang and like throw bombs any direction he wants. Um, and but like, Fox can't land right above him like Fox likes to do because of the platforms. But this stage, like, the the platforms just being on the side, uh, it's like a remedy for that. These projectiles aren't doing much for Kodomo right now. Yeah. Small shot. Why are you going? I away. I'm That's gonna, where he's going. He's I, going I don't away. know what the attention was. Oh, I'm gonna assume it was in the base. It would have looked really good. Cool. Cool. Uh, nice tech cool. from Zerak though, you know, did a good job from him. What a smart man. Knowing to tech that. Well, you know, given the direction that game is going, uh, I think everybody in the house was pretty confident that, that, that Zerak had that one in the bag, more or less, but you never know. Kodomo's always, Kodomo, you know, always capable of pulling out all the stops if need be. We're gonna see Three, if Zippy two, pushes him to that one, extent. Go. The Lilac pick. Do you know anything about, like, this stage for Toon Link or for Fox? Projectile characters. Zippy one of I'm, I'm saying, though, well, like, Toon Link chose, or Kodomo chose this stage. I'm wondering if he, like, if there's any negatives for Fox that means that, like, are the reason he chose this stage, or if it's just good for Toon Link. Um, I don't know enough about Toon Link in this, like, in this matchup or on this stage. Projectile characters all love this stage just because their projectiles cover the, like, the platforms, like, like most projectiles cover the platforms extremely well. Um, but Zerak also loves this stage. I, I it, you know, it doesn't grant him any other benefits, uh, any benefits the battlefield doesn't. Is that good? No. Just a, just a backwards leg. Are, Toon Link's legs probably don't even have joints. They're just like cool moves. Yeah, yeah, that's probably true. Have you? Has he ever like? No, his air dodge. He bends his leg. Maybe he just breaks the cool move. That sounds painful. Whether or not Toon Link has bones, whatever you know, he contains within his tiny. Fleshy, you know, coil is, is getting kind of kind of kicked so hard by this oh, intrepid even young man. Though. Even intrepid young space bugs. As long as Kadomo, I feel like Kadomo is playing a bit too aggressively. Um, I think he's like in, in stuff like that. He's trying too hard to hit the Zerak. He, I I feel like I like I feel like a zoner, especially Whoa. someone like in this situation. I feel like he wants to. Focus more on making sure Zerak doesn't hit him. You know? Um, a lot of times that he's like getting hit is is just because he's doing something that's not safe right in Zerak's face, and Zerak just like, gets an easy punish off of it. Because it's even stocks right now, so like Kodomo doesn't need to try to go for any kill. All Kodomo really needs to do is just like stay away and hope that the that the projectiles can nickel and dime themselves. I really love the, the way both of these players are using these, uh, are pressuring on these platforms. It's like Zippy's applying the, the, the hardcore shield pressure, and Kodomo's always making sure there's a projectile to watch out for uh, while Zippy's up there. Uh, really a, a gorgeous, um, you know, example of two, two types of players. So one, of these, one of these players is a uh, yeah, <laughs> one of them is a bit more gorgeous than the other right now. I wish we saw more use of uh, Zare. Zare's awful. Is it it's really? It's the one thing I know about Toon Link. Zare is so bad. It just goes like... It, it goes spaghetti. That's just how little I know about Toon Link in this game. Um, because I know it was like pretty okay in Smash 4. Um, a lot of good things. That was a really good thing.
Yes. Hmm. That was almost yeah. hot. Yes. Yeah. Is this two out of three oh, or three out of so. five? Mission complete. Is this what? Okay. Cool. All right. Well, congrats to Zurak for beating Kadoma. Did a good job. I have not. Do I have to go do that? 